Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Theatre and Blindfold. I mean, uh, Final Fantasy VI LLG Blindfolded. So this episode will be first re-equipping our characters, and by we I mean I. Gotta get those tenses right. And then, after that, I'll be taking on the Battle of Narsh, which is pretty hilarious, I think. <laughs> Alright, uh, my party choice, I think I'll use, uh, mostly just characters from the last scenario, considering, you know, they're all kind of equipped, so that's handy. However, equip, skills, item, save. I don't want Celeste on the same page as everyone else in terms of, uh, in, in terms of controller slot. Seven doesn't really need a re-equipping, though. Alright then, so... So that's the end of that mini-segment there. But you'll be seeing the real segment in just a couple seconds, so... See you then! Terra, Locke, Cyan, Edgar, Sabin. Terra, Locke, Cyan, Edgar, Sabin, Celeste. Nice, got it. Okay. Um Oh my gosh, what am I doing again? So who are you? Who's on what? Are you Gal? You are Gal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. All right. Most people probably wouldn't set both Gao and Celeste up conservatively. Three, you. But I, I, I want the extra degree of safety in this case. Yeah, I'm runicking when I really don't need to with Celeste. I'm just kind of jittery right now. Shouldn't matter as long as Kefka's pretty much guaranteed to be on stop. Eventually I'll probably... nope. I think last time I killed him before he even recovered from stop. Kefka is not the hard part of this segment.
Thankfully I can input Blitz in the time it takes Bushido to reach 2, so I I can just input Blitz for both uh, Sabin and Cyan. Hang on, did Celeste... Oh no, Seven's on... Did I reload the wrong save or something? Whatever, I'm just gonna be inputting blitzes for everybody. Everyone can blitz now. That's how it works in this game. Everyone fire the aura bolts. Ah, uh, whatever. You can tell boss is lame when I'm messing up and blindfolded and... I don't even get... He doesn't even get a turn off. Alright, I'm not out of the woods yet. I don't believe the navigation in this segment is too hard, though. Well, besides the navigation I've already done so far, that is. Terra explode! Don't probably need to use the menu check until... at least made it to the point where Awakening comes on. Oh, uh, yeah, maybe I should mention what I was doing the entire time, in case you didn't get it already. I was actually timing everything to the music, that's how I knew where I was walking all the time. If you notice, I was uh, keeping to the beats of the music a lot, like if you go back and rewatch that if you didn't notice the first time. Often my movements were timed to the beat of the music. First I kind of went with the tuba. I think it's a tuba. I'm not good with instruments, but music is not my forte. But first I went with that do 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 the part of the song, and gotta go down the first time it does that, right left the second time, and then down for two more of those. And then there's two beats you gotta use to go left and down. And then uh, you've gotta time it with the symbols, and that's the hardest part. Each time the symbol goes off, you have to change direction, and it's fast, it's like, shh, 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 so, kind of got to remember the route pretty quickly there. And then there's, you, you, I have to wait for six beats of the horn, I guess it is, in one spot. It's definitely not a horn. Some sort of brass instrument, anyway. Then again, half of them are probably brass, I just don't know what they are. Alright, I don't want to bother messing with parties right now. Thankfully, I get put on the left side of everybody else, which is a lifesaver. One, two... Also, considering how many fails I had on Harvest's house in the first segment, it really isn't that hard to navigate, and a recovery is pretty much almost certain if I mess up. Alright, it may seem like it makes more sense to leave Narsh the other direction, but it's actually a trap almost, because uh, both ways you can go from there, it's possible to get invariably stuck on an NPC. It's possible, not very likely, but it is possible. One, two... 
so I don't I, I don't want to mess around with that. However, with this route, it is completely impossible to get invariably stuck on an NPC. So, I get, by invariably stuck, I mean stuck, and he won't move because a lot of the NPCs in Narsh have set patterns, which is actually even worse than the ones with random patterns. Almost. Oops. One more step. I'm gonna mess this up. Oh, that's not good at all. One, two, three. There, made it out. I guess right. In fact, I may not have been that lost in the first place. Alright. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that one. Alright, see you next time. Ah, oh, crap, I messed it up. It's really easy. Very dumb mistake. Wasn't paying enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dang it. Stupid rider. So close.